Flight pattern is clear. You're clear to dive. Top side, top side. This is Super Aviator. We're on a heading of 240 degrees and ready for our next mission. Over. Super Aviator, this is top side. I read you loud and clear. What's your dive plan? Over. We're going to head back to that reef and uh, collect some more video. Over. Roger that, Super Aviator. The flight deck is clear and you are clear to dive. Over. With wings, elevators, ailerons, and rudders, Super Aviator appears to look more like an airplane than a submarine. Rudder pedals, a joystick, and an artificial horizon are all used to actually fly the craft underwater. Traditional submarines are slow to maneuver and perform similar to hot air balloons underwater. Super Aviator can take pilots 1,000 feet deep at speeds up to six knots. Super Aviator can deliver tight and aggressive banking turns with dive and climb angles near 90 degrees. Or just a graceful, quiet flight along a colorful reef. Originally, sub-aviator systems, aviator craft, was designed to bring the flight experience underwater in the submersible realm. And, uh, its design was, was more to allow yacht owners and filmmakers and, and scientists who wanted to travel great distances through flight to experience that world and, and, and get to it. It's a very interesting experience because it's so quiet. It's a battery-operated craft. You don't hear any engine noise to speak of. You hear the thrusters just a little bit. The experience of flight underwater is like in a real airplane in the air. It's, uh, the ability to bank underwater and, and move through and follow and chase things and think where you want to go and, and just be there. It's an astonishing experience. Flight pattern is clear. You're clear to dive.